Hi, I'm Anka Cotwell, a developer advocate at Google. Today, I'm going to talk about how you can start building apps for Android TV. Great experiences on Android TV are casual, cinematic, and simple. A TV screen is typically viewed from about 10 feet away, and it's much larger than other Android devices. Building an effective user interface for TV requires a different approach and different tools. To make your life easier, we provide the Lean Back Support Library. It includes APIs, resources, and widgets to build apps for TV. You can build apps for Android TV without it, but why would you? It makes building high-quality user experiences for the big screen super easy. When you create a project and choose TV as your form factor, the Lean Back Support Library is automatically added into your project. If you're not using Android Studio, you can declare these dependencies through your build.gradle file. The Android support library is available in the Android repository package. So if you haven't installed this package yet, you can do so via the SDK manager. Now let's look at our sample app. First, you must declare an activity for TV in the manifest using the Lean Back Launcher intent filter. This intent filter identifies your app as being built for Android TV. At the same time, setting this intent filter also identifies which activity in your app should be launched when a user selects the app icon on TV. The Lean Back Library provides a standard theme for TV activities called theme.leanback. This provides a consistent visual style for TV apps, and it is recommended for any TV app that uses the Lean Back Library classes. The Lean Back Support Library is designed based on the model presenter view pattern, a derivative of the model view controller pattern. There are strict requirements for model objects. An object adapter can be used to define any kinds of models, and therefore, you should be able to update your existing app without changing your model. It's also possible to connect local or online data sources that contain your media using object adapters. And you can define how these items will look using presenters. The Lean Back Library also provides pre-built fragments for browsing and interacting with media catalogs. And you can take advantage of this when you're building your own media browsing apps. Here is the initial layout for the app. It consists of a single subclass of the Browse Fragment from the Lean Back Support Library. The Browse Fragment allows you to create a primary layout for browsing categories and rows of media items with minimum effort as you can see in this sample app. Just adding this class to our layout has created a multi-pane layout along with standard navigational design and polished transition animations. Let's look at how we can populate the fragment with some content. A single array object adapter is used to define a list of list row objects, and a list row presenter is used to display them. Categories are automatically displayed vertically on the left, whilst media for each category is a horizontal scrolling list. As the user drills deeper into the category, the categories it's themselves will collapse and will be displayed per row as a header item. Each list row object is composed of one header item and another array object adapter. The header item describes the metadata of this row, in this case, the category name, and the array object adapter contains the media items for each category. Here, a user-defined card presenter is used to display each media item. You need to present this yourself. All of these classes, array object adapter, listro presenter, and listro are provided by the Leanback support library. The only thing you need to implement yourself is a presenter for displaying your media items. When you create a Listro object, you can pass your own custom presenter to define how each individual item will look. In this example, Card Presenter displays each media item as a card filled with a thumbnail image. The Card Presenter extends the Presenter class, overriding OnCreateViewHolder to generate views and OnBindViewHolder to bind objects to views on demand. One thing you should keep in mind is that every interactive view in Android TV should be navigable by the directional pad.
To achieve this, you need to set the focusable and focusable in touch mode properties to true, like here. In order to interact with user input, you need to add the on item click listener to the browse fragment. During the callback, you can fire an intent to start the item details activity or replace the browse fragment with the details fragment via the fragment manager. The details fragment also found in the support library allows you to create a primary layout for displaying detailed information. And again, it does so with minimum effort on your part. Again, a single array object adapter is used to define a list of rows. The details overview row is the row which contains the specifics of a media item. In order to render the details overview object itself, you use the details overview row presenter. This row consists of an image, a description view, and a series of actions. You can easily preview an image or add actions to this object by calling the methods setImageBitmap or addAction. For displaying the description view, you can use the abstract details description presenter class. It is also possible to add more content, such as related videos. And to do so, you can add an additional row into the array object adapter with a presenter to display them. Here, an additional list row object is at the end of the array object adapter with a list of related videos. And again, the list row presenter is used to display this row. So these are the basic steps to get started with Android TV development. In summary, the Lean Back Support Library makes it super easy to build high quality experiences. The Browse Fragment and Details Fragment are the easy way to jumpstart your Android TV development. The code shown in this dev byte is part of the samples listed here. And you can also discover more about the many unique features of the Android TV platform, such as recommendations and the background manager at developer.android.com/tv. I look forward to seeing your apps on the big screen.